don't know if you know this, we are 5% of the way through 2024. 5%. That's fucking crazy. Out of nowhere. And this is also the quitter month. So this is where people either stick with it and, you know, they realize those goals, those resolutions they set out to achieve this year or this one people quit and they stay in the cycle so regardless of where you are currently i want to help you win and i'm going to give you everything you need to do so so got a quote down here until you make the unconscious conscious it will direct your life and you will call it fate this describes most people's lives being transparent this is why people feel like a feather in the wind a victim all this stuff and i'm going to explain it because i felt the same way and i'm gonna help you guys out so Do, 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 do. This is a concept that I, like a philosophy that I've adopted. To get control, you got to find out where it's been taken. Like some, somewhere it's slipping through the cracks. We got to find that and patch it up first. So control is more about elimination than addition. My most recent short, I talked about this. Same, same thing with discipline. This is why 99% of people fail is they overload themselves and they quit, right? They say they want to run a half marathon every day, a thousand pushups, and they want to weight lift for four hours and meditate for two days straight. That's cool, but you're doing too much. You got to eliminate the things that are taking the control out of your life before you, before you add on. The ugly reality must be torn down before you build the beautiful future. And to do that, you need to do a self audit. So if you're watching this, I'm going to take a wild guess and assume you're serious. You're serious about change. You're serious about your goals and your resolutions this year. You, you actually mean it this time. I'm gonna, I'm gonna assume that, give you the benefit of the doubt. If you are, you have to do this. And what this audit is, is go through your whole day. When you wake up, what do you do? Like what's, what's the schedule like for you? When you wake up, you check your phone. Okay, then you go pee, then you brush your teeth. Then you start to boil water for coffee, right? Those are five things you wanna go throughout the whole day. And by each activity, we write a plus, equal or a minus sign and that's how we're going to gauge good and the bad right so obviously like it peeing neutral you can't help that eating neutral that stuff's neutral but for instance if you wake up and check your phone right away your dream self probably doesn't do that right so defining your dream self is get creative you know what does you look like what what do you look like in your dream self, where you accomplish anything, you're limitless. What does that person look like? And do these things get you closer or farther? And then from there, it's time to pull weeds, right? So the first thing you got to do is you got to make the ha- uh, the bad habits hard to do. So I also talked about this on the most recent short. If you have a problem with social media, delete the apps, delete them. You know, you can hire a virtual assistant. You could just have your friend change your password and not give it to you till maybe Sundays. Throw away junk food, throw away weed, throw away booze, get an accountability partner. Like if you're around a bunch of people who like to drink and it's within your capacity to move out, you should do that. You gotta, you gotta eliminate the cue guys. You know, for most people, um, they have a problem with fapping and it actually stems from social media because that shit's like softcore porn or TikTok. It's even worse. So deleting those is actually going to help you prevent the bad habit in the first place. You just got to remove the cue. And then lastly, is make the habits not appealing. So you need to change your thought process on how you, you view the deed itself, right? Like if you drink alcohol in excess, it makes you ugly. If you eat junk food a ton, it makes you fat. It makes you look like this. That's being generous too, right? And then triple X makes you a cuck. You're going to be like this guy. No one wants to be like that guy, right? <laughs> right? So you got to remove the cues and then the bumps, the people in your life who have these terrible habits, like I'm going to just come out and say it. You don't want to be around people who just accept mediocrity and just don't take care of themselves. That it, I truly believe that is the purpose of life, to better oneself. So you don't, you don't want to be around people that don't see it that way. They'll hold you back, right? And then the foundation. So start super small. This is where so many people fail is they, I'm going to go to the gym two hours a day, run three miles. I'm guilty of this shit too, but it's not sustainable. It's not. So you got to start super small and then just like anything else, you overload it. So you can start meditate for one minute, plain and simple. Go to the gym for 15 minutes, read one page, journal one sentence, do these small things where where it's almost, it seems, it seems foolish for you not to do it because it's so easy. That's the whole, that's the whole premise. 
And then we build this foundation. And then over time, right here at the bottom, we can overload it to your standards. So make the habits attractive. Watch your favorite YouTuber on the treadmill. If that's what it takes, like I, if that's what it takes, do it. Meditate and not have your coffee. That's what I do. I have to meditate, I have to journal, and I have to read. And then I get to have my coffee. It, it makes it like I'm excited to get it done, you know? And then read a page before bed. And then the second thing is make them easy. This is literally a hack, dude. If you want to get up early, set your phone across the room because then you have to get your butt out of bed to turn the alarm off and you're already up by that. Your gym should be the closest to the house, right? And your gym bag should be packed the night before so all that's ready. So you literally just wake up, you're ready for the gym. Meditate at your desk. Place your book on your pillow, like all this stuff. Put water next to your bedside before you go to bed. Like just make it easier. Prepare to succeed or prepare to fail, plain and simple. And then overload these to your standards. So environment over everything. This is single-handedly the biggest glitch you will experience because look at this right here. Over 20% of people in Nam were addicted to heroin. Heroin, bro. The H. 95% of them stopped when they came back home. Only thing that changed was the environment. Right, so you need to be a thermostat, not a thermometer. Set up and be the architect of your environment rather than just a thermometer who you just reads the room. Like you gotta, you gotta be the architect here. So have water only in the house, right? If you're trying to get you know healthy, work on yourself. Only have water. Don't have soda, energy drinks, none of that. Sell TVs and video games. If you have a problem with that stuff, just, just get rid of it. Put phone in the other room while working. I don't even know where my, where my phone is. When, when I'm working, I, I just remove my phone from me. And it, it makes it so much easier to focus. The best way to gain focus, discipline, getting in good shape is just removing this stuff. Th that's the opposite of it. And then, then by default, you gain what you're looking for, right? Plug your phone in across the room. Like all these things are going to help you out a ton. I promise you guys, if you do this shit and just remove the bad stuff, by default, you, you gain what you're looking for and it will help you out a ton. And, and it's such an easy concept to understand. And you'll find a lot of success, uh, success with this, I promise. So right here is just getting away from negative people. That's another big one. A lot of people are addicted to negative thoughts. You know, they'll, oh, dude, I can't. Stuff like that, I, I hate that shit. Don't be around those type of, the types of people. And then after this, these are like kill streaks, right? Stack your habits. Carry momentum from the first habit to add another after it. This creates a chain of events so you can go meditate, journal, read. This right here makes you a superhuman. You can take an hour and make that hour literally more productive than what you would do previously in five hours. It's insane. And the whole goal is to keep the streak alive, never miss twice. And you start to build these habits, it, it, dude, and you just stack. It's insane. That's why the foundation needs to be super simple like I was talking about. And now this is part of your identity. So, you know, if you're trying to quit fapping, you don't fap. You're not, you're not on no fap. You just don't fap. If you go to the gym, you're a weightlifter. If you read books, you're a reader. It's all a part of your identity now. When you can change that upstairs to making it a commitment to making a decision, a way of life and part of your identity, it makes it way easier. You know, if you can just make the decision to, you know, I go to the gym, I read books, I'm a reader, I'm a weightlifter, I don't fat. Like when you do these things, I think it's one of the biggest like hacks, honestly, that you can fool yourself into and it helps me out. It helped me out a ton. And then the last thing too is I know it's hard to get around the right people. It's very hard in this world to find people who see eye to eye with you. It's very, very difficult. It took me moving across the country to find that type of person, those type of people. You know, I had a few back home, which I'm grateful for, but you know, you wanna be around the right people. Your network's your net worth, right? So join the community. Like literally right now, it is absolutely free. Just message me on Instagram and you can be around like-minded individuals who are like you. But with that being said, I will see you guys later. Take care and rock on.